In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about factors. What are these factors? Let us view these factors in two different ways. The first way, uh, we say the factors of any number are those set of numbers you can multiply together to get that number. Take for instance 18 as a number. I know if I multiply 1 by 18, I shall obtain 18. This is to say 1 and 18 are all factors of 18. As well, I know if I multiply 2 by 9, I shall obtain 18. Likewise, if I multiply 3 by 6, I shall obtain 18. All these six numbers are factors of 18. Therefore, the factors of 18 are we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 6, we have 9, and we have 18. All these six numbers are factors of 18. In another view, we say factors of any number are all those numbers that can go into that number without remainder. If you can see here, 1 can go into 18 18 times, 2 can go into 18 9 times, 3 can go into 18 6 times, 6 can go into 18 3 times, 9 can go in 2 times, 18 can go there 1 time without remainder. So they are all factors of 18. Take for instance, if we say 12, all those numbers that can go into 12 without remainder, we say they are the factors of 12. I know one can go there without remainder. Two can go there six times without remainder. Three can go into 12 four times without remainder. Four can go three times. Six can go two times. And 12 itself can go into 12 without remainder. So all these numbers are factors of 12. If we take 6, for instance, all those sets of numbers that can go into 6 without remainder are said to be the factors of 6. We have factors. One can go into six, six times. Two can go in there three times. Three can go two times. And lastly, six can go into six one time. So one, two, three, and six are all factors of six. Knowing factors of numbers is very essential when it comes to factorization. So this is all I have for you today. In our next class, we shall see common factors, lowest common factors, and the highest common factors. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.